So summarizing the, the results with volume targeted ventilation, this modality delivers more consistent tidal volumes, avoids excessive volumes, that is probably one of the most important characteristics of this modality. The other very important uh, finding is that there is automatic winning, and therefore, and therefore there will be a shorter duration of mechanical ventilation. It also reduces the duration of hypoxemic episodes, and it may reduce death or BPV, although, as I mentioned, the evidence for this is not uh, very strong. The limitations with volume targeted ventilation is that the adjustments that the ventilator uh, does to maintain the tidal volume are based on the reading from a flow meter that is a flow sensor in the ventilator circuit. And these flow sensors <clears throat> frequently fail or they may not give accurate readings. And that then will produce pressure adjustments, automatic pressure adjustments that are not based on true actual values, on accurate values of tidal volume, but of false values. The other uh, limitation of uh, volume targeting is that you have to be very careful with leaks because some ventilators will adjust the pressures based on the inspiratory tidal volume. And if you have a leak, the inspiratory tidal vol volume is much larger than what the baby is really getting. And therefore, the ventilator will win the pressures inappropriately. And the other limitation of volume targeted ventilation is that we really don't know what is the ideal tidal volume for each patient at each specific moment. So we usually say, well, yes, we'll target a tidal volume of four to six milliliters. Well, that may be appropriate for a baby with normal lungs, but a baby with severe BPD, for example, who has a very stiff lung, increased dead space, increased resistance, that baby may require a larger tidal volume to maintain acceptable PCO2s. So this is a limitation also of volume targeted ventilation. So in our institution, we don't use volume targeted routinely in all babies, but we mainly use it in babies with chronic lung disease who have frequent hypoxemic episodes where we know that if we go to volume targeting, we achieve more stable levels of oxygenation and ventilation. But we, again, we don't think that this is a strategy that has been clearly shown to be beneficial in all extremely